A former Mavs maniac claims that he was insane when he went on a two-city crime spree targeting his estranged wife, a girlfriend, and their families. This attack was back in August of 2013, killed three women and a 17-year-old girl. CBS 11's Robbie Owens live for us at the Frank Crowley Courts building where the trial got underway today. Robbie? That's right. The victim's families were a noticeable presence in court today, with one telling me that although they've waited for years for Irby Bowser to face a jury, this trial forces them to relive the pain. As testimony in the long-awaited trial got underway, there were the experts and police officers. Multiple people shot, multiple people dead at location, just hysterics. But the child survivors of the bloody attack, soft-spoken and composed, held the jury riveted. I heard my mom like, scream, no, or no, and then some gunshots. Christopher White was just 13 when police say his mother's estranged husband, Irby Bowser, set off an explosive to gain entry to the family's DeSoto home. Christopher, his younger brother, an older sister, and her son hid in an upstairs closet. He described how Bowser hunted them in their own home. And he came around to the door. He said, oh, so y'all aren't going to listen. And then he fired at me. And it's like a blank spot after that. I don't know. If I like blacked out or anything. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> did you ever see him shoot Nima? No. When we we keep saying he, are we talking about Irby Bowser? Yes. Okay. You saw him. Then. Yes. Christopher survived, but with a spine injury, his younger brother was also wounded. I was in shock. I didn't remember our address, his name. All I could really think about was. According to police, that attack in DeSoto came just about 15 minutes after Bowser opened fire on his girlfriend and her family in Dallas. That woman and her teenage daughter were killed. Two children there were wounded. Testimony resumes tomorrow morning. Live in Dallas, Robbie Owens, CBS 11 News. Robbie, thank you.